everything that I have to do for the presentation, obviously, the short, closer that gets, the more prepared I need to be. But for the rest of my team, it's there's still a lot of things that they need to do that has nothing to do with that number because our business doesn't end when this program ends. It's just you know the transition to the next step. This week, we kind of transitioned a little bit, or, or my focus personally, on the growth to investor readiness aspect of it. So a lot of my time was maintenance on the things that we've put into motion already, and then all of the materials and stuff that we need to get ready for demo day, which is coming really soon. And every day that we look at that board and it's you know less and less, it's you know more and more nerve wracking. It's really exciting that uh, we secured our, our lead investor. Um, the thing that most excited me was uh, the same investor runs an incubator and they got great facilities in San Francisco and San Jose. Um, they have this big manufacturing unit at our disposal. We're going to be a kid in the candy store. Recently started hiring. We are hiring two engineers, um, an iOS engineer and an Android engineer. Uh, I've been talking to friends of mine from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, there are two in particular, one who works at, at Apple and that it works out at Samsung as an Android engineer. So they are very excited about what we're doing and we'll see how that goes. Two weeks ago it was like, I don't know, uh, what are we going to present for the demo day? Like trying to um, show the accomplishments and trying to reach the goals that we decided. It was kind of overwhelming and a little confusing at times, but now I feel more confident. Um, the product is coming out great. Um, we ran campaigns and we validated our target demographic. Um, I have a mental list of things we need to do for the next phase and with the people we will be working with. I'm super excited. I'm very, I'm looking forward to it. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I mean, I go to sleep and I have nightmares about, you know, all the ways in which this could possibly break down. And I have to get up each day and figure out, you know, how am I going to prevent this from happening? I have to actually build out the system. It actually has to work, you know. I mean, there are a lot of moving components and we name a date and we say we're going to launch them, but there's like a whole series of things I need to get done in order for that to happen. I'm very confident that we're actually going to pull this off, but I mean, at the same time, it's kind of scary. Although we were planning ahead and it's nice to have set earlier deadlines, I'm a lot more confident about where we are right now. And so right now we're just closing up the loop of getting Bitcoin transactions to work. So. You know, you can get money on the site, you can then go make your transaction, and then we have to send the Bitcoins out. We need that to be pretty much automated. For the longest time, I was concerned and, like, I don't know, really nervous about Demo Day, and now I'm just excited. Like, I know two weeks from today, going to be up on that stage, going to be in front of a room full of people, and I can't wait to tell them what we have. It's been an interesting week. Uh, we're in that phase of preparing for due diligence and our investment deck and pitch deck. Uh, it's something that has always been a weakness of mine speaking in public so it's uh, so I gotta work on that um, but you know that's kind of what startup life is right uh, there's a lot of things that you're not good at and there's things that you don't even know that you need to learn but uh, you really don't have anyone else to lean on so you have to like do a but learn a bunch of uh, things outside of what you're comfortable and I guess that's what startup being a startup is things are getting a little more strict than they have been but yeah, everything's going as planned, and um, got a new version submitted you know, earlier this week. So, and we already have all of the new emoji designs, so they're going to be ready for a new submit like next week. So, we want to get that out, and that way we can look at the data from that that release before demo day and try and get in some new information if we can. So this week we uh, made some progress on the automation, getting uh, visualizations done for uh, wireframes. The features there are very exciting. Um, the fact that we're expanding into green territories and, and helping build sustainable uh, energy and, and make the planet a better place. This week students from RIT came to visit and they pitched to us and we pitched to them. And then we went over to a potential investor's house and had a barbecue. So it was really fun to hang out with those students and 
remember where we were at when we first started pitching as well. We also started reaching out to investors in a more targeted way before we were just kind of letting people find us on AngelList, but now we're actually looking into drone syndicates, VCs who are interested in drone related software, and looking at people who are investing in seed rounds to really say, okay, you're interested in this, we fit in this category, let's have the conversation.